Hey, Nick, can you hand me that case? Sure. Here it is. What's up? Looks like someone dropped a body here late last night. We got a set of footprints and a trail where they dragged the body. I finished the DNA testing and it's confirmed another dead relationship. You know, that's the third relationship that's died this week. What did you find on the body? A copy of Self Magazine and Vanity Magazine. An iPod playing I Did It My Way. And an Eagle Builder's Seminar card. And a wallet with a bunch of pictures in it. All of himself. Sharon, take a look at these lacerations on his head. And look at the unusual size of his head. The buggy is big. Wow, look at all this stuff. No wonder he's got a big head. I'd say he's got a case of big head-itis. Sharon, can you take this and get it analyzed as quickly as possible? This was found next to the deceased body. You might want to have this analyzed too. from the fingerprints off the bottom. Well, who is it? It belongs to Mr. Donna of 429 Park Lane. Wait a minute, did you say Mr. Donna? Yes. Is his first name Primo? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Okay, that explains the big head-itis. You and Brian bring in Mr. Primo Donna for interrogation. Not only for the prints that were found on the bottle, but also for the poison analysis that was taken from the Q-tip results. Mr. Primadonna, do you recognize this relationship? Hey, if you've seen one relationship, you've seen them all. And you can't treat me like this. I'm famous. Go to Hollywood, everyone knows me. Go to Washington, D.C. I'm even known in Fortune 500 businesses, in churches and in schools, state governments, everything. We are all aware of who you are, but we have evidence, DNA evidence linking you to a murder investigation. I ain't talking till I get one of my lawyers. I have hundreds of them. I ain't talking till one of them gets here. And where's the latte I ordered? Primo, do you recognize this bottle? No. This bottle held your fingerprints and also the fingerprints of the deceased, as well as traces of a unique poison that also matched the poison in this dead relationship. And I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do, Mr. Donna. You're the only one that knows how to manufacture this type of poison. This poison can only be made from a special plant that you grow. Oh, and what plant would that be? A poison made from a high maca maca plant. Look, this relationship was already lost. He was feeling unimportant. My favorite kind. Give him a little responsibility, make him feel good about what he does, and allow it to go to his head. Make him feel like no one can do it like him, and he's no longer a servant, but a prima donna. It's a poison, isn't it, primo? One that would kill any relationship. Brian, book him. Hey, you can't do this to me. Do you know who I am? I have connections in high places. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. 